Hey y'all, it's Jeremy here from the Sunday School Space and our youth building the starting line. I wanted to talk to you guys today and tell you a little bit about what to expect when we're coming back in person. So I'm really excited that we're able to do that. The uh, COVID uh, numbers each week seem to be on a downward trend. So we feel like we we're, that we can safely come back together and I uh, would love to welcome as many of y'all back as, as you feel comfortable coming. So just wanted to kind of tell you about what to expect for the rest of 2021. So uh, just uh, date-wise, we will start back on October 24th with a Halloween party. We'll be doing that almost 100% outside, right outside these doors at the starting line in our parking lot area. We're gonna have food, we're gonna have games, uh, lots of fun. I'm gonna try to have some music. I'm trying to get a DJ for that as well. So uh, we, we wanna do as much outside as we possibly can because we are going to require masks indoors, uh, at least um, if you're not eating. So while, while we're coming together on regular 517 nights, when we're having dinner, of course you can't eat with a mask on. So while dinner's happening, you can, you can have your mask off, but, but otherwise, while we're indoors, we are going to require masks. And we want to require masks because if, if you happen to be with us last year, you may remember how we had all the chairs spread out uh, pretty much exactly six feet apart throughout Bailey Hall. And um, we had to really get creative with the way we did games to, um, to try to keep some social distancing going on. And, uh, and we did that without requiring masks. But um, if everybody is in a mask, then, then you're a lot more free to, uh, to limit that social distancing. So uh, we, we definitely feel that um, because of the high transmission rate, and um, because uh, we want to have some sort of sense of normal that, that we used to have. Uh, we wanna get somewhere close back to youth church being more like youth church should be. So we, we want to um, have everybody in a mask if you're indoors and not having dinner. So, so we wanna do that, and, uh, or, or unless you're leading worship. If you're part of the band and you're singing or you're up front speaking, yeah, uh, you're far enough, far away enough from everybody that that you don't have to have a mask, and and we'll be safe about that as well. So, we're gonna start back on October 24th with a Halloween party. We're gonna have a costume contest. We're gonna have pumpkin carving. We're we're gonna have lots and lots of fun, and really excited to have you all with us. Uh, lot lots of good food. So, hope you can come for that. That'll be 5:17 to 7:17. Then in November, we will have a regular 517 night, which is our Sunday night youth worship. Uh, that'll be on November 7th and November 14th. Though both of those being 517 to 717. We'll start out in Bailey Hall with food. Uh, someone will be serving you food, so that way we're not all, not everybody having a buffet, touching the same items. Um, we'll, we'll have games outside as much as we possibly can. Um, so, so we want to give ourselves a break from the mass as much as we can, because I know you guys are doing that all week long in school, if you're in public school. And then after that, after we have our games, we'll be in the chapel, uh, like we used to be back before March, 2020, um, with, uh, with some songs and a message and some discussion groups. So that is November 7th and November 14th. Hope you can make it to that as well. So in December... Uh, on December 5th, we will have a caroling hayride like we did a few years ago. Uh, that was just a really great time of fellowship and, and joy that we were able to spread to, to folks in our church that, that uh, really benefited from, from just hearing the, the joyful noise of, of uh, Christmas celebration songs uh, that we were able to go to, to several homes and do that. So we're looking forward to doing that again. Uh, that will be on uh, December 5th. Uh, about 5.17 to 7.30, maybe even 8 o'clock. We'll see how the time is going and how, how much we're, we're moving through town. Definitely keep parents updated if we're going a little later. We will start in Bailey Hall with a, with a quick meal and then get on the hayride and go. So once again, we'll be outside, so don't worry about a mask for that. Um, December 12th, we'll be having a ha uh, Christmas party. And the, the location of that is, is uh, to be decided. Um, I wanna try to have that outside. So I'm looking at different places that we could do that. So that way we can um, be a little more free without the mask and um, it's easier to do that if we're outside. So 
Um, lastly, uh, of the things we got going on, we will be starting Sunday School back on October 24th. Um, with Sunday School being probably the lowest attended program that we have, um, I think we're safe to, um, to make masks optional for Sunday School. Also, most people that are in Sunday School happen to be related to each other. So you're already living in the same house. Um, we should be safe to, to safely spread out or, or sit amongst your siblings to, um, to have Sunday School. And uh, we also usually have food at Sunday School too. So um, masks will be optional at Sunday School. And um, we are starting one other thing that we've never done before. Uh, in the past, we did this thing called Breakfast Club where uh, on Tuesdays and Wednesday mornings, we would um, either meet at Chick-fil-A or meet at Hardee's or meet at Burger King. Um, middle school met at Hardee's or Burger King. Chick -fil -A, uh, high school met at Chick-fil-A on Tuesdays. And so what we did is we'd have a morning devotion before the school day started. And that usually started with me riding around town around 5.15 in the morning picking folks up. So that way we'd have time to actually get to where we were going, have our devotion, and then get to school on time. So. We wanted to do something like that, but something that maybe even be more accessible and, and maybe even more appealing. Um, not everybody wakes up extra, extra early to, uh, to, to do something like that, but everybody does happen to get out of school at approximately the same time, whether you're in middle school or high school. So starting on October 26th, we'll be doing this thing called Frosty Fellowship at, the, at Wendy's and St. Mary's. So right, right after school, uh, I'll be there. You know, the first Frosty is, is paid for. So invite your friends to come to that. We're just gonna treat that as a time of fellowship and prayer and would really love for you to be part of that. And um, look forward to seeing you guys at, at everything as much as you're able to, to come to. Um, next year, 2022, starting in January, probably the first week after school starts, we will be starting some Wednesday night activities. And of course, this is all pending on, um, you know, close watch on, on the COVID spread rate. Um, it's just a, a fact of life at this point that we're just gonna have to deal with, I think. But, um, but we're keeping a close eye on it and we wanna be able to, to minister to y'all as best as we possibly can. And uh, look forward to seeing you with us. Uh, once again, that very first thing that we're gonna do is the Halloween party on October 24th. So that's just a few Sundays away and uh, looking forward to seeing you there. If you got any questions, please feel free to always contact me. You can direct message me. You can uh, call me at 912-227-0976. You can also text me there. You can email me at youth at stmarysumc.org. So that's about it for today. Hope you guys are blessed. Hope you're having a great week and uh, look forward to seeing you soon.